Hello, my name is Rebecca Sandmeyer. I'm the director of the College of Music, and this is the slot for the performing and creative arts departments. So we will have presentations from the College of Music, the Center for Theatre, Dance and Performance Studies, and from Fine Art. I'm going to share my screen. Studying music at the College of Music at UCT. We offer music training in different um, musical genres, African music, jazz, opera, and Western music, and in the Bachelor of Music also in different specializations. And these specializations then lead to specific careers, like performance, for example, you can play in an orchestra later on a in a jazz band or become a mbira master. But in composition, you would um, compose film music or music for ads or for a symphony orchestra or all kinds of other interesting um, musical ideas. Then in music technology, um, this is about recording and editing of music, but also about making music, for example, uh, for computer games or jingles for phones. And of course, music ed education, that is um, if you want to become a teacher at school. The courses that you will be studying when you apply or when you come into the music school is of course practical courses like instrument or voice, and then also ensembles. Um, if you play a Western instrument, it would be uh, in a symphony orchestra or if you join the opera school um, in opera productions with Cape Town Opera, you could play in a big band or the Afro pop ensemble. Um, also studying a, a part of your studies would be courses on context. So for example, uh, history of music or African music. So looking at how music fits into the or, context of society, what kind of function does it have, where is it played. Another part of your studies is theory and oral training that looks at how music is constructed on the inside. So how does it work um, when you hear a piece of music? What, uh, how is it constructed? And in the Bachelor of Music, you also study electives that might be other music courses that are not part of your curriculum or it could be uh, courses from other humanities subjects. The programs that we offer are the Bachelor of Music, that's a degree program, and also the Diploma of Music, um, and a music major in the Bachelor of Arts. You can see that both the Bachelor of Music and the Diploma are available in two different versions a four year version and a five year version for the Bachelor of Music, and a three year version and a four year version in the uh, Diploma in Music Performance. Um, we advise candidates who come to us without a formal music qualification or formal music education at school to go into the extended programs so that they can catch up in the first year of their studies. In the Bachelor of Arts part, when you study a music major in the Bachelor of Arts, here that doesn't usually include the practical components. So that would be more about learning about the context of music and the inner workings of music rather than playing your instrument and playing in an ensemble. How do you apply to um, the College of Music to do your music studies. You apply through the UCT website, um, just like with any other um, UCT course as well. And then you need to book an audition with the department. You need to let us know which instrument or voice you would like to study and also um, which genre. So is it in jazz or opera or Western music or African music? You send those inf that information to uh, the email address given there, music at uct.ac.za. And then we give you information of what we would like to hear at the audition. Um, you play the audition 
Um, it's usually August or September, so you still have a bit of time to prepare. And at the same time, you also write a theory test. The theory test is not um, the criteria for admissions. It's for us the criteria whether we offer the extended program or the regular program. So don't worry too much about the theory test. It's more engaging for us at the College of Music to see whether you should study in the extended program or in the regular program. Um, also, so then you, you come and play an audition and you do the theory test and you might get a conditional offer. Um, once you've got an audition, a, a conditional offer, there are other admissions criteria as well. So it depends on your metric results, um, whether you get a bachelor or a diploma exemption. And then in the bachelor studies, it's also based on a faculty point score. So on the marks uh, that you get in your metric subjects. Um, but for us in music, the audition is actually the most important thing. So we look at you, how do you play? What do you play? What kind of potential can we see? And that is what we would like to hear from you and to see at the audition. You can send in a recording as well. If you cannot come to Cape Town, please let us know with your booking um, and then we can see from the recording whether we can admit you or not. So um, we are all very easygoing and we like to hear what you can show us. Um, if you have questions, you can put them into the question and answer and I'll, while the other um, presenters are presenting, I will try to answer those questions. Um, you can also send us an email. Send us an email to music at uct.ac.za. You can go to the website again, music.uct.ac.za. The audition requirements, for example, are on the website already. I think the dates might be there as well. So you can have a look there. And of course, if you are in Cape Town, you're most welcome to join us at our concerts on Tuesday evenings during term time, 7.30 p.m. at the Baxter Concert Hall. And there you can either chat to us or you can meet students as well and hear from them how they find studying at UCT. That's all from me at the moment. So I'm going to hand over to my colleague from the Center for Theatre, Dance and Performance Studies. That's Mbongeni Mchali. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Mbongeni Mchali. I'm head of the theatre section in the Center for Theatre, Dance and Performance Studies. Um, I'm super excited to meet all of you, even though it's all virtually today. Um, I'm going to share my screen very quickly. If you'll just give me a second. Right, and I'm going to be giving you just a very brief outline um, on what theatre, theatre, dance and performance studies is, um, much like uh, Rebecca just did for music. Um, yeah, so what is theatre, dance and performance studies? Um, primarily an academic discipline. Right. Um, we are at a university um, and we take performance seriously as an object and method of critical inquiry, which means functionally that we not only study performances, but we think of performance as a way of engaging critical work. Um, so we study theatre, dance and performance in both the heightened formal spaces of the traditional theatre, as well as in the everyday practice of everyday life. Um, we believe strongly that there's an integral relationship between studying performance and doing performance. And as such, we tend to explore the human condition. We're also really interested in the specific cultural, political and historical contexts that shape theater, dance and performance in Africa and beyond. We tend to focus on live contemporary performance, especially in all its forms and variations, rather than just studying the so-called canon. Um, so the work that you'll do over the course of your studies will move from traditional theater plays to looking at dance and experimental performance works, to sonography, which is you know, design and thinking about um, the production of space, to applied theater and dance pedagogy, and other critical applications of performance beyond of performance theory as well as method. 
So the idea is that by the end of your program, whichever program you're in, um, students leave equipped to not only make performance as practitioners, um, but to engage critically with the intersections of gender, of sexuality, of race, class, ability, and any other categories of identity that shape who we are. Our primary goal is to invite you to challenge, to rethink, to disrupt, and to think about how to represent the world around you. So ultimately, our programs hope to prepare students for artistic and professional pursuits in the performing arts, in the related fields and beyond. They also nurture strong research skills at the undergraduate and postgraduate levels, creating pathways to academic careers in the arts and allied disciplines. So the Theatre, Dance and Performance Studies qualification um, actually offers three specific programs. There's the General Bachelor of Arts degree in which you would major in Theatre, Dance and Performance Studies as well as another major. We have the four year structured degree or what we call the named degree in Theatre, Dance and Performance Studies. And then there's also the Theatre, Dance and Performance Diploma, which is a three year qualification. So the General BA major, um, the requirements for the course, Right, um, sorry for the uh, program, is that you would take first year academic courses, which include uh, Introduction to Theatre and Performance A, which is really interesting. It focuses on Africa particularly, and using Africa as a taking off point for thinking about the history and contemporary practice of performance. Um, we also have South African performance genealogies in the second semester. You would then have second year academic courses, um, global performances, mutations and migrations, special topics of theatre and dance studies, um, and to register for second level courses, you would have to first pass your um, first year academic courses or be granted special permission by the head of the department. Mm -hmm. And then you'd advance to your third year academic courses where you'd focus on contemporary performance and professional production processes. And of course, at the same time, remember, you'll be doing your other major alongside these qualifications to uh, leave with a double qualification in theatre and performance studies as well as your second major. The structured degree is a bit more complex. It's our specialized degree um, and it's not open entry into this. You are required to audition um, for a place in this program. It's a highly, highly competitive. Um, and similarly to the uh, BA, of course, there's, there's a specific kind of four-year structure. You would have your academic courses that the majors all do. So you have your Intro to Performance, Station Performance A, South African Performance Genealogies. But then that would also be aligned to what we call studio courses, which is where you engage in the practice of making performance. Um, similarly, second year studio courses would also be tied to academic courses, global performances, special topics, third year studio courses, same program. And then in the fourth year, um, you would have your focal studio courses in your special, specialized area, as well as your major fourth year research essay. The structured degree is considered the equivalent of an honors degree. And at the end of this program, uh, you would be able to advance the master's and to any subsequent postgraduate qualifications. I did forget to mention that the BA qualifies you to then enter into the honors program. And then our diploma um, is very, very similar, except that it's a three-year program. So again, you'd have your first year studio courses, your second year studio courses, and your third year studio courses, but the diploma concludes at the end of the third year and it is a terminal qualification for now, although there is discussion about how to um, create pathways for diploma students to enter into postgraduate studies. That's pretty much the sum of what I am going to attack you with now. Um, of course, as always, if you need more information, please, please, please refer to our website um, where all of these programs are laid out. You'll also find information on past students and what current students are doing and what our um, alumni get up to. Um, but if you need any further information, please, you can contact us. Um, primarily, reach out to Shadnam Pansari, who is our administrator, and her email address is there. Um, you may also reach out to Sarah Matchett, who is the director of the Center for Theatre, Dance and Performance Studies, to myself as head of the theatre section, and then to um, Associate Professor Gerard Samuel, who is the head of the dance section. Thank you so much. Good morning, everybody. My name is Jean and I teach photography in the Fine Art Department, which is also called the Michaela School of Fine Art. At this current moment, we're having a slight technical problem and I'm hoping my PowerPoint presentation will appear 
um, in a moment or two. But until then, I'm just going to speak and tell you a bit about the fine art department um, at the University of Cape Town. And I will also tell you where to find more information about the course and how to apply. The, the undergraduate Bachelor of Arts in Fine Art, or BAFA, is a four-year degree. It is positioned in contemporary art practice, and students will study painting, sculpture, photography, me, print media, new media, drawing, and visual and art history, plus theory courses designed for artists. Ah, um, thank you so much. There's my, um, my PowerPoint presentation. And if we could go to the next slide. Um, so we are part of the University of Cape Town. We're the fine art department, but we are generally referred to as the Michaela School of Fine Art. And this is quite crucial in, in if you're trying to contact us or trying to find us um, in the virtual world. If you could move to the next slide, please. So these are some of the activities that happen in the undergraduate program. This is a first year drawing class. Um, I think it is not life drawing, but certainly drawing from life. So drawing from objects that are on a stage in front of the easels. The next slide, please. Um, and, and then the following few slides, and you could just um, flip through them, show activities in the fine art department that students are making visual artworks and putting them on the wall or displaying them in three dimensions or in an installation to um, allow for assessment and also for feedback. So during the learning process and also during the exam. Next slide, please. And could you go to the next slide? The, the, um, on the right here, we see some students working with um, older cameras, but we also obviously use digital um, cameras in our courses as well. Next slide, please. So um, the course is structured um, over four years, as I've said, with the first year, here being in the orange at the bottom is a foundation year and that includes all all disciplines in fine art that you might encounter so drawing painting photography sculpture printmaking and design as you move through your degree you specialize and you and your study becomes more and more specific so in second year you will take um, a, a number of subjects. And then by the time you get to third year, you will actually be only doing one of the following subjects. Um, and that is photography, print media, painting or sculpture, as well as supplementary subjects an elective where you might explore a special project. And as well as this, you're always doing um, visual and art history courses and theory courses that support you in the program. So by the time you get to your fourth year, you do a year of what we call studio work four. And in that year, you're making, you're basically practicing as an artist with a mentor who is one of the staff members. Next slide, please. Now, if you go to our website, because we are very pressed for time in this um, slot, and that is our website address, www.michaelis.uct.ac.za. Um, next slide, please. <laughs> and you click on the section that says study at Michaelis, click here. It will take you through, next slide, <laughs> to a, a six minute movie about our offerings at Michaelis. And I think this is a really useful because it will tell you um, our, where we're coming from, the ideas we have, what it entails, and it will also, next slide, <laughs> take you into the studios 
and so that you can see students working and producing artwork. Um, could you move to the next slide, please? If you would like to um, get a feel for something or, or for how it is to be at art school, you can also follow the various sections in the art school on Instagram. And here we have going from left to right, uh, photography underscore Michaelis, Instagram site, sculpture underscore Michaelis, and printmaking underscore Michaelis. And um, what we post is exciting aspects of the projects that are currently being run in the undergraduate program. Next slide, please. Another way of finding out more about whether you think the BAFA is for you is to come to our graduate exhibition at the end of the year. Um, that obviously would only apply if you were in, in fact, um, <clears throat> grade 11, because you would have had to apply to Michaelis if you're in grade 12. So if you're in grade 11 and you're based in Cape Town, on the first Wednesday in December is the graduate exhibition. Please come along. We hopefully, if the virus allows it, we will have a physical exhibition and come and have a look at the work and see if that speaks to you and if that makes it an interesting um, a prospect to study. Next slide, please. Then <clears throat> if all this does sound good and you want to pursue um, studying fine art at, at Michaelis in the fine art department um, and you want to apply, on the website is a, is a reference guide for applying to Michaelis. Um, and if I could just emphasize that what we require from you is a portfolio of drawings and some of your artworks, as well as the university application. So it's a bit, it's slightly trickier in that you have to do a UCT application as well as a Michaelis application. So please find this application guide on the web. Next slide, please. And even though it says three simple steps and all the information is there, it somehow things get lost. So we really, really would like you to read this carefully and follow, um, follow the guidelines carefully. You're going to do an online UCT application. You're going to prepare a portfolio, which is actually four drawings and 10 um, photographs of the artwork that you have made. And then you're going to submit the portfolio and a BAFA application form to, next slide, <laughs> admissions.fineart at uct.ac.za. <clears throat> the crucial next bit of information on this slide is a phone number. If things aren't going right, please phone us. Um, and again, this is on the website along um, with the application deadlines, um, again, it's slightly not um, straightforward. So you need to apply to the University of Cape Town by the 31st of July 2022, but you only need to submit your portfolio to this email address by the 31st of August 2022. We look forward to seeing you in our studios. Thank you so much. Um, I'm now going to hand over to my colleague, Portia. Portia, you're muted currently. Are you? Okay. It seems that our technical uh, issues are continuing. Um, may, maybe um, my colleagues in music and the Centre for, for Performing Arts and Drama can come back in here and we can just chat. <laughs> OK, sorry about that. And I'm sorry that my colleague Portia is, is not going to be able to join us. Um, just to say then very briefly that within the fine art department is an incredibly vibrant happening um, section called a visual and art history. We are staffed by it, it, which is staffed by some of the leading experts in um, in the field and um, that course unlike the BAFA, which is a name degree, 
um, visual and art history is open to students in the wider university. And so it's really something that you should look at. As you have seen from our uh, attempt to show the video, um, it, there is also on the Michaelis website with the exact same um, website address that I gave you before, you will find the video that we were trying to show you, which talks about um, visual and art history and the, the kind of the positioning in the department, the kind of work that is done, etc. So I, I would please encourage everybody to, to go to the website and have a look at that. Um, so in finishing off now, I'd just like to invite my um, colleagues to come back on and maybe we can all finish off uh, with a final word. Um, I mean, maybe the thing that that hasn't been emphasized is that we really are a happening section of the university and we're a lot of fun. It's true. It's true. We even have our own little campus. <laughs> So do come to our village. <laughs> yeah, we are looking forward to seeing all of you on campus. The College of Music is in a different place from art and drama, but we are all very connected and love working together. Thank you. Great. Thank you all. All the best with your studies for the end of the year, and we hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.